Liv. Liv Strider. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the show. This is the greatest show. We can't sing it the whole thing because uh, I don't think unf- I don't think your mic's getting picked up, Spencer. Yeah. Um. Well, everyone. <laughs> Spencer's doing some audio. Dif- well, he's not it's doing audio difficulties. Mic. Yeah, he's not doing that. But what he is doing is fixing his uh his mic audio but we are style direction a menswear stream without the stuffiness this is your show <laughs> 2022 baby the first show of 2022 Happy New i'm Year. ethan i'm ethan i'm long that that's spencer dso and still, i still still <laughs> can't hear spencer huh Give me a second. Okay, now you can hear me. Now you guys. Now yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Don't forget to boost yourself. A little boost bit. yourself up. You're okay. kind of low. Boost or myself. talk closer. Yeah. Um, yeah. You boost me up. Um. <laughs> I think now because now it's my my mic is just going crazy. So I think I might have turned the gain up too high. There gain me up. Gain me. Gain up. me up. Oh, I'm still more carried out into my background. <laughs> you still got the more um, carry. Anyway, we're going to get through this. We are going to go through our first ever Sad Head Sunday of 2022. I don't know how to abbreviate that better. 2K22. And jump right into it. Spencer, let's see what people have submitted to us for us to look at. Oh, we sure shall see what people have What's up, Siltree? Hey, we could have used you on GeoGuessr last week, but whatever. Or not last <laughs> week, on Wednesday. Mad. New Year's New Year same same problems. problems. Yeah. Hey, hey, NYSP. Yeah, that's what I'm Pandemic. saying. Pandemic. Uh, it's Sadhead Sunday. DM us your fits, and you sure did. We're starting out, okay. Mr. Axie. Axie! Axie Acosta. Wait, hold on, that's a person. Hold on. <laughs> you just dock just doc someone. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Uh, anyway, yeah, you got, yeah, Spence, you can start us off. Okie dokie. Uh, well, Axel, uh, rang in the new, uh, did he wear this on New Year's Eve? Or new, I don't know! I He's... just realized, uh, by the way, P- if you submitted to us uh, for for Christmas, the day after Christmas, I don't know if we did something, I don't know, last week or whatever, um, but we didn't archive those fits, so those fits are lost forever, unfortunately. So They're in your, your, your uh, brains. They're, uh, they're, they're in the archive, but we don't have the original files because uh, Instagram doesn't let you save pictures from other people if they're over like a week old. So starting today is when we'll do the recap of the month. Anyway, Axel, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so Axel, uh, he's doing something that has been discussed on the Discord a little bit, uh, buttoning the top two buttons of a three-button jacket rather than just the middle one. And yeah. I think it looks pretty good here. He's got that with a nice OCBD, some slim pants, red socks. We don't know what shoes he's wearing. Maybe no shoes at all. Maybe no shoes touched his feet that day. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a great fit, great way to bring in the new year, you know? Nice player on that mod boss. That's right, mod boss. We got plots mania He's here. Yelling. Yeah, I'm plots mania. He's just saying. I his would Instagram like a username. small amount of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah those, those <laughs> This big, this much only. Oh, so the back. So he's got what looks to be like a cool pleated patch pocket uh, sport coat. Lovely gray color. Hey, Lovely we can appreciate gray color. gray here. Uh, with some like kind of uh, O O O O D O D green O G green. What is it? O G, O D S T. Because it's O G one hundred seven or olive drab. I guess you could. It's just olive drab. Yeah, but not ranger. Green. But then he's also got the Gucci sneakers. He's he's like Paolo. <laughs> Paolo, how could you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe that's what he's saying. Yeah. And a contrast collar shirt and like a geometric tie. Really cool. Yeah. Still don't know where he is. I mean, there's a palm tree there. What, what the Oh, we got to geo guess this. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Zoom in here. <laughs> okay. We got to look Last year, the green on the pad. Yeah. OG or OD green. You know, you decide. Og or odd green. Either one. The choice is yours. Uh, okay. Either we got Philip over here. Philip. Wearing a navy suit, jaunty scarf, um, bit loafers, classic. Gr- uh, class of philip grigard yeah the whole like bryce western with a little bit of ivy 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really great stuff, man. But it looks I great. I feel like he. I feel like he hasn't posted one of him in front of this wall for a minute, so. Yeah. Good to well, be back. It it rained. Is. Look, look at that. It rained kind of, or he yeah. washed his deck or something. But yeah. it's not like, raining all the time. That's true. That's true. You know, only if you look at the rain scale. Or the rainforest. Cafe? Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I want to go to the rainforest cafe. Get some, like, overpriced pizza and burgers. Yeah, to get just the sliders, to, man. Just to, just to get us surrounded by, like, a gorilla yeah. and, like, a... Every hour a, on the hour, they, tree they do a hippo. volcano eruption. And, and but the thing is, they actually have, like, a really great, like, brownie sundae there, though. Like, that's where you that's why you go there, man. Yeah, that's absolutely why you go there, for the brownie sundae. Yeah. Uh, anyway, John Johns, you stand in front of Russ and, what do you think, Daughtry? Daughter? Ross and, and, and Daughter? This might be, appetizers only <laughs> this might be a landmark that i look I'm, there's I'm a showing my ignorance. there's a shark up there there's a shark up there but he's not oh, wearing shit. them <laughs> he's not wearing them tonight we see the full fit so he's got uh an old levi's trucker looks like maybe like a hunting jacket or something underneath that or like a utility vest with a contrasting collar sweater vest i think then a t-shirt russ and daughter's Plural. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Okay, I had to like zoom in a little bit. Yeah, to zoom. Uh, some light yeah. wash jeans and some suede, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ropers. But yeah, really great look. Look it up, California people. I know I should know this, but I don't live in LA County. Hey, we're um, trying to geo guess. We're not cheating. The OC. Oh, it's it's from Manhattan. So he's in. Hey, so yeah, he's in. Uh, it's so uh, wait, Webb. Hey, why shout out to Webb Bigfoot? What's up, Russ? Yeah, daughter, well, app welcome. Appetizing is a fa famous restaurant on the Lower uh, East Side in Manhattan. So he's back how about, in New how about, York. How about the How about Lower Ready Player One? What does that mean? You're playing low. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. cool. You got to drive backwards. <laughs> That's the whole deal. Um, yeah. We should watch that again. <laughs> But <laughs> we should watch it tonight, honestly. Okay, we could do that. But um, <laughs> yeah, so he's he's enjoying uh, a famous restaurant on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Next time we go to New York, we'll go there to to appease everyone. Um, <laughs> to avenge him. To avenge him, also because it sounds appetizing. Can you guys hear my piano? Wait. No, don't really hear. Oh, never mind. Fuck. Okay, I play the Avengers theme. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, anyway um but yeah really great look. I, love the, I love the double denim uh looks good i'll love the layering too but yeah good stuff love Whoa. it we got sloucho here slouch core as i call him or, or oscar um <laughs> he's wearing a three-piece navy suit look at those lapels look at those lapels man look at this is like a good case in proportion right here look at that high waist small vest but long jacket oh man makes papa want to come <laughs> jesus um, love no. <laughs> someone clip that <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> love like the uh, the kind of like the cream like the shirt playing with like the olive brownish foulard tie. It's a little bit of like a makes a very vintage look. You know, I mean, not just for the details, but like the kind of combination you can. If you see a lot of like you know, not just Esquire man, but like illustrations, like the 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 tie and shirt and 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 suits like don't always contrast sharply like they're kind of more faded sometimes and i know like like spencer and i've talked about before like a lot of like dobby striped shirts and like very like tans and like olives and yellows are pretty common to find for vintage and so like again pairing those two together with like a classic navy or like slate gray slate blue suit is is a good way of like you know leading into the whole vintage uh, color palette so really cool stuff yeah, you think so? Um, you think some? You think there's someone inside that that jar behind him? I think so. I hope I not. Think so, um, oh, that jar. Okay, I was like, I was looking down, and never mind. I'll that's not a jar. That's like a like a. <laughs> that's a vape slur. That's a, um, <laughs> that's an urn. But yeah, we were at we were at Joyride for a little bit last week, um, okay. and they have they have a couple of very old suits and some very old like three pieces in stock right now, and yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at those, and you know, it's it's the the, the it's sharp. It looks really good, but yeah, it's good sharp. stuff. Don't hurt yourself. We got free grain. Don't hurt free yourself grain. on the sharp. Um, yeah. This is a cool uh, like southwestern fleece jacket. Might be from Pendleton. I've, I know that they make some like this. Yeah. Um, not fleece uh, probably, but like Letterman style. Yeah, because it's got like the leather, um, 
with the leather sleeves, leather, which is neat. Leatherman. And oh, the sleeves. it's, oh, it's yeah. got like a regular that. collar instead of the usual Letterman collar, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, got a sweatshirt, bandana, OG 107s. Uh, some cool, like, boots. It's got some boots like, with a crepe sole. Crepe sole boots, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I dig this. I love that. I really love that jacket. I'm very jealous of that. Um, but yeah, good Free stuff. Grange, more like, give it to me. Yeah, that's that's Free exactly Free what Grange. I was going to say. Um, <laughs> yep. But yeah, cool Thanks, uh, sweatshirt. Love the bandana. All of it's good stuff. Thank you very much. Ooh, I'm Another DJ. jacket I'm jealous of. Yeah, the real folk blues. What's the type of jacket, Spencer? Uh, I, it just looks to me like a like a plaid brown short jacket, but it's got the like yeah. cool zip pocket. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's cool, plaid yeah. or if that's just like the shadows, but with uh, yeah, with a cool I zipper, think... the cool zipper on the yeah. chest pocket. Yeah, uh, wearing navy, uh, navy or black uh, crew neck underneath, khakis and some black boots. I will um, say this is kind of a. Uh, Kind of similar to Steve McQueen's outfit in The Great Escape, where he wears a gray, oh, sorry, yeah. a navy crew neck with like ecru or like chinos, mm. and then he does wear an A two, mm-hmm. but I think the same effect is done here. So yeah, really, yeah. really classic. Uh, in front of the family mark, I think in the back. It looks, your, it looks like <laughs> get your crispy chicken and corn dog. I Hell think, yeah, baby! There. I don't uh, know where yeah, Float Blues cool. is at, but yeah. We, well, Some we would cool, not tell you about taking our geoguessers skills and apply it to everyone's <laughs> fit picks. Yeah, except we only have one image. <laughs> it's you know it's diff- it's hard mode. There's also time limit because we try to do it in the first half hour. Yeah, you get you get more points for yeah. one image. We got Connor rocking a very nice like, you know, outdoorsman but sartorial. You know, he's got like the, uh, um, uh, like a wax jacket. What it looks like, you know, it's got the zip there. Um, like a field jacket. Um, it's got the like orange uh, or like kind of like dark mustardy yellow um, turtleneck with a navy cardigan, some corduroy trousers, and then some what look like indie boots, and then a great a great like floppy fedora, which is again just really practical. Love love using. You know, it's kind of hard to wear fedoras with like tailoring. Not that you can't do it, but I always think it's really good when like you have like really rugged outerwear, especially when it's like more military, or if it's you know like not like an overcoat because an overcoat is a little too tailored. You know, you get a little too gangster squatty with it. Here, just you know, it kind of makes more practical sense. So, yeah, really great stuff. Connor, yeah, good stuff. The Duke himself. The Duke himself. Okay, let's see who is I... next. Oh, we got Tio. Yeah, Theo Benes. Theo Uh Yeah, but he's got a... Is that a Craftsman uh, Safari? No, that's the... I think that's Spear and McKay. Oh, Spear? Okay, but yeah, it looks good. I, the elastic waist is kind of neat. Um, like the collar. Big pockets. That's, yeah, that's like the big pockets are good. Uh, nice uh-huh. like collar shape to it. He's uh-huh. got that with a... Uh, like a fisherman sweater and a Ron sweater, which is which looks nice. And uh, a white OCBD. Some brand chinos. But yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, really cool. Good stuff. I say that about every Ooh, fit, but yeah, I like this. Ooh, man, we got Philip. Oh, this is so he told me that this is actually a vintage '60s DB. Ooh, that's uh, I see like it. an old custom, like old custom one. But it looks so good. Those yeah. the pants look so good. Yeah, and I can't even see past the the crotch area on them. But I'm assuming they're that's, really great. Love the extended. The yeah, the sharks live here. You can see the the little like you know like the it's got like a, a clasp closure on the inside, so like not a button through one on the extended tab, which is really nice. Um, really great. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of shoulder padding in it, or at least like a little bit of extended shoulder, which is really good. The sleeves in particular look nice and roomy, which I love. Like I think just because I move around a lot taking photos, like I don't like really restrictive sleeves. So yeah, that yeah. with like a very what looks like a very fine like merino. Or cashmere, or like you know, a, a thinner turtleneck, not not as super thick or whatever, but tonal look altogether, so good, very Scandinavian, mm-hmm. which is which makes sense. Um, but this is like sharp. I mean, we we got a lot of great contenders for you know top of the month already in this first in this first one of of twenty twenty two. So really great job, Philip. Nice. Oh, sleek. That's right, sultry. Yeah, very slick. Speaking of slick. Dress, dress code dot Dan Hakimi. Dot Dan. Um, dot Dan? 
Can you make your website that, dress code dot dress code dot Dan? How about just a dress code dot Christ, which is even <laughs> dress funnier. Dress code because, dot Christ. That's better. Because, well, yeah, there's an obvious joke there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, moving on. Bringing a f- good fall winter fit. I guess more winter now than fall. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the beanie up top and the beanie the, up top. Kind of like a uh, is that a brown? I, I'd say that's a brown brown jacket, blue brown shirt. Jacked jacket, yes. Yeah. Window pane, whatever. With a uh, sort of a tie in the same color realm. Um, <laughs> color realm? I'll send yeah. you to the color realm. <laughs> of some nice dark uh, slacks and then some dark suede, um, dark suede, suede, suede lace ups. I, so like... I see the red oh, Sox right? peeking out. Yeah, um, really cool. The Red Sox? Very, very... It's green. Okay, <laughs> green. There we go. Sure, yeah. That's the green matter. Green matter. What's the matter with you? Um, no, yeah, I, we've been talking a little bit about lace-ups, like wearing lace-ups casually. And, of course, derbies are easy, but, you know, you got to join the Discord for that conversation about, like, wearing Oxfords with jeans, especially suede yeah. ones. Oxfords, not yeah, really rogues. Cool. <laughs> Oxfords, not ro- Yeah, God. Yeah, we got to record that. preview. That's a preview. God. <laughs> Yeah, we, you got to meet your counterpart on the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That was so funny. I anyway, saw, it, I saw you, it with Mac, and he laughed out loud when that when that happened. I I was like, holy shit, dude. This is fucking crazy. Yeah, okay. Got, you know what's so funny? Uh, Chris said, oh, yeah, you know, I was talking to John Troider yesterday. I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, is it John Troider? And I'm like, no, because his username on the Discord is JTR, so I'm assuming the T is an, is what an initial. What trolling us? John T's Troiling Reuter? Oh my god. That's Crazy. Not... Well, I gotta see him uh, do the troll face. This is kind of a troll face. Like, he's just not smiling. He doesn't have his mouth open. Yeah, um, this is... Okay, I'll talk about this one. So you got, like, the tweed brown jacket up top. Really great. Three roll two. Big patch pockets. Nice lapels. Uh, pink OCBD with, you know, is a good match for the, you know, OG 107s. But the insane... Fair Isle sweater, which has mm-hmm. the tennis at the, the tennis part, the neck. This is yeah. so cool. This is one of the coolest sweaters of all time, man. Yeah. I saw something like this similar, but it was a full, uh, it was a full, like, a sleeved sweater. Um, but it was huge. I saw it today at one of the vintage stores. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, really cool stuff. Love the, uh, is that like a mallard pin? I think it's a ma- like a duck pin. So Drake's, Sweet. Drake's it up. Drinks it up. Oh, right. Thank you very much. Let's see who's next. We got. Oh, Ivan, man. Reuter style. Um, this is good. This was his New Year's fit, I believe. So he's doing uh, a Western black tie thing. Um, he's got the uh, he's got the DB or no, that's a single breasted tuxedo uh, with that's nice right. with generous peak lapels. Uh, knowing Ivan, it's it's probably vintage. Um with some opera pumps it looks like he's got you beat there uh, um, i know but yeah look at the the collar on the western shirt looks so good um this the is white so, I mean, i've been saying with it the, yeah with the with opera pumps vamp. are incredible yeah yeah i i was gonna say like you know i, I i'm calling it now the denim shirt with black tie or just with like a bow tie is like a thing like with like the it's just like the khaki shirt how i had a little bit of a moment you know, within menswear, it's, but again, in our like very niche circles, the denim shirt worn with black tie, crazy, and yeah, and cool color says right there the the John Greenacre stance. I mean, this is very John too, John T. Reuter, John too, John T. Scarf. Yeah. Now we got Here Ludwig. We go. we got... Still looking Ludwig. Old. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love it. Hey, the yeah. uh, the band aids off. Hey, yeah, it's for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, he's healed. healed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, bringing us more fall colors here. The brown jacket with a nice light tan uh, pleated slacks. Uh, a cool green sweater that kind of matches his phone. Yeah, pistachio cool. green kind of. Yeah. Um, and then uh, so loafer, loaferless socks we got at the bottom there. There you go. Um, yeah. I want to say this is like the best shoulder expression I've seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it just it just falls right off. 
Yeah, that's so good. I don't care if he's like, oh yeah, well obviously he needs padding for his sloped shoulders. I don't care, man. I want people to see how sloped my shoulders are. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Thank you, Ludwig. Thank you so much, Ludwig von Beethoven. Uh, <laughs> up next, we got stuff in the things of the Peter. He's enjoying a fine Cuban. And I can tell from the image of the smoke. When you know enough about cigars, <laughs> you can just tell. Um, okay. <laughs> Geogasser, more yeah, like yeah, Cuban gar -guesser. cigar guesser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but anyway, he's got uh, he's got the uh, he's got a, a nice, generous like use that last one, but here it is again, generous uh, khaki blazer uh, or sport coat right there. A little bit of an oversized fit with some pleated brown pants, some white sneakers, um, white tee, white bucket hat, and a nice gold medallion uh, for a little bit, a little bit of an extra, extra touch right there. But yeah, look, he's living in a Scorsese film. Yeah, he's hanging out on the dock somewhere, smoking a cigar, looking like this. I'd say so. But yeah, very cool. Uh, kind of like you know, we we talked about the the New York kind of style. Uh, th this is and here it is. That's my it. that's my geo guess. All right. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Dear Peter, uh, we got Pride of Malukins here. Um, love that jacket. And Spencer, yeah, I was about to say Spencer, yeah. you're gonna love it. Yes. Yeah, he's got another another kind of like southwestern style shawl collar jacket worn with some immaculately fitting brown trousers. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? Straight down the leg, nice sharp crease on it with some derbies, it looks like. A, what looks to be like a 30 style polo button all the way to the top. At least it's got like the little loop closure. A uh, nice wide rib fedora and a western like medicine bag tote kind of thing. Well, not medicine bag, I guess. Kind of like just like a canvas tote, but like the uh, the narrow version. The tall mm -hmm. one. Um, Yeah, really good stuff. You know, this is like perfect, you know, standard and strange core meets tailored core, you know, and just, just the inclusion of, of wearing a Southwestern jacket over some classics like a cream polo and a brown trouser. Just amazing. Amazing. Hey. All right. Oh, Speaking man. Amazing. We got Henrik over here. Woo over here. Was this his, we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and call this his New Year's. Yeah. Bit. Right. Yeah. Um, what's the, uh, what's the type of pattern for the pants that is really cool? Yeah. I mean, I, I just call it tartan, but tartan. I, I mean, it's, it, yeah, there might be a specific plaid. name for it, I know, yeah, tartan yeah. Yeah. plaid, I feel like fits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, chat, feel free to fill that in, but I really like the blue and yellow usage of it. Um, and then his, uh, slippers with white socks down there. Really cool. Um, yeah, makes me makes me wish I had something to wear. Like oh, that, that that's preview for the topic, I guess. That's what I want for this year yeah. to wear. You want to wear it this year? This coming New Year's. Yes, at the end of this year. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much, Henrik. Up next, we got style. There's my style by Santigi. Yeah, I just like some um, style. Yeah, I love voice. the mid-wash jeans here with the purple socks and, you know, and loafers. Very, you know, draped, but also kind of just, kind of, you know, just, you know, nice menswear fit right here with the gray jacket, yellow OCBD, and a geometric tie. I mean, that plus the beanie, like, really easy sad core, right? Like, everything that we love all put into some, like, a, a casual, not that casual outfit, but, like, I mean, I guess it is technically, but, like, just, like, you can throw them on together. Variations can be made of this, and it's just so easy, and it looks so good, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really good stuff. Also, I love the half John, half Ethan pose, oh, where no. John's got the hand on the hips, but, but I've got the, the hands in my, my in my pocket. Because my headphones died. Oh, man. That, uh, we the can chain... hear you, but we, you can't hear us. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, really cool stuff. I mean, you know, nice... Nice wash in the jeans. I, as you guys, as some people in Discord know, I, I finally got some like mid wash, not really mid, but like mid to like regular wash jeans that are not like raw indigo. So, yeah, these are, yeah, I've been wearing them a lot. MJ yeah. saw them when we watched Spider Man, I think. Oh, or was Spider Man. It? I don't, I don't know which the one. Dark. Yeah. Uh, cool. Let's go. Thank you. 
Let's see who's next. Oh, oh it's Dempsey. You. Uh, Dempsey Holloway. He's standing here. He's got his drink. Um, he's <laughs> grasping it with both hands. It's very safe. <laughs> um, but <Please>. I. <laughs> some more. <laughs> but I really Please. love the uh, the long sleeve polo. I've I've been wanting one for a little while now. SJC has them back in stock. Maybe I should should I pull the trigger? Maybe um, do it. Yeah. We'll do a group order. Uh, but he's got some corduroy easy pants, it looks like, which I dig. Uh, some yeah, suede oh, nice. Belgians, uh, I I believe. Um, but yeah, to this, I uh, oh, believe. this looks good. And you know, it's like, it, it kind of, it kind of, you know, it like looks, uh, in harmony with the environment, you know, um, uh, environmental harmony. There you go. Environmental <laughs> harmony, but yeah, the ultimate looks, harmony looks very good. I love it. Ooh, Sam talk style. Sam. The last we've got Sam talk style here. This is probably like new age sad core where it's like just dark suits, chambrays, knit ties, black shoes. In like a just year, all... sad core is going to be dressing like you're going to prom and you're just wearing <laughs> like all black with like a bright red tie or something. <laughs> yeah, we all just go back eventually. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is so good. Like he's like, you know, uh, Sam works in like custom menswear and he's like, you know, honing his fit in with every commission. This is like spot on. You know, mm. like the trousers drape yep. wonderfully. The jackets again, lo a long length jacket, but again harmonious to uh, to the rest of the outfit. You know, the wide the wide trousers echo the long jacket. You know, the droopy shoulders and everything like that. The the rise meets the buttoning point of it. It's just it's all so good. You'll hear about that this weekend, not today, but this weekend, when we release our first episode of 2022 on proportions. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you everyone for uh, for submitting to uh, to style and direction. Oh wait, is there one more? No, there's not one more because next thing is just my stream postponement announcement. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for submitting so, the fit, fitting. Yeah, I'm curious here now. Why don't um, so? I thought we talked a little bit. This is very. This is a very uh, casual stream, if you know uh, as I mean. you know. But we're really talking a little bit about like style resolutions, and then we talked in the Discord about like what we're excited to buy or what we want from this year and right now there's only three of us uh you know it's kind of uh everyone goes back to work tomorrow so i i there's no kiyoshi there's no jason today um but yeah i'm kind of curious what we all you know where we want this to go this coming where year and what it'd be any new thing to go <laughs> any new announcement you know like we'll just talk about the upcoming year ahead yeah you know? um um Chad right. can represent too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I did. I just meant like audit orally, and by that I mean a u r a l y. You know, of the auditory <laughs> variety. There's only the three of us here, but of course, chat. Please tell us what you guys are looking forward to, um, this coming year. New purchases, new style moves. What you want to see? Like, are you excited to try anything new? Are you gonna, you know, are you going to move away from anything? Any anything that you want to do? I know Spencer's got a big one because he is moving, or he yeah. has moved. Technically, so Spence, if you want to start us off uh, oh, with some that, ideas on where you want to go. Yeah, so I am in the process of moving. You can't see my background because it's Crazy Hand. But eventually, behind Crazy Hand will be a different background. Um, at some point, hopefully, um, in just a week That's or two. Um, but yeah, I got the keys to the place. I'm in the process of moving stuff over. I, I was there for a long time today trying to get internet, and it didn't work out. So I'm going to have to go there at 8 a.m. on Tuesday to wait for a technician is... to come by. Um, okay, like I was, I was about to ask you, what does that mean? Well, so so what happened is, you know, you got to plug the, the, the modem into the, the coaxial cable. Uh, and the wait, you got to go. Wait, hold on. You got to go to you got to go to Kessel. I got to. Yeah, I got. Wait, who's the who's unrefined the guy, coaxium? Wait, who's the guy in the Millennium Falcon ride who gets you to do it? Who's the, the animatronic at the beginning? Oh, it's uh, uh it's the, uh, Hondo. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. <laughs> you gotta. Han okay, I can't do it because I, I feel like okay, his name is Hondo Onaka, and I'm pretty, right. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like a thinly veiled attempt at a Japanese or at least a vaguely Asian Middle Eastern accent. Yeah, you know, it so I'm like not gonna it. do it on. Um, yeah, did I just hide a comment on accent? No, I didn't. Okay, um, but anyway, yeah. So the biggest challenge for me is the the room that I I'm moving into my bedroom is about the same size as my current bedroom but nice. there's about half the closet space oh, um, no. 
and <laughs> it the the closet the the room used to be an office, and so the closet is not. There's just a bunch of like cubbies in there that are like I'm gonna have to like remove or like add. How about about the chubbies? <laughs> like like the like the uh, uh, just, the just... shorts. Oh, the shorts in there. I mean, yeah. I guess then I could just I, I could just say it. I thought you were just talking about like you know, uh, just like you know, like chubby ladies and be like, hey. Okay. Well, you said it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have. I'm figuring that out. I also, I bought a clothing rack from Target today, and that was also uh, that was missing like four parts. So oh, wow. I have to do, take it back to get extra. No way. Yeah. Back. So zero. I had two goals. Well, I was. Uh, yeah, I had two goals today. Was to set up internet and uh, set up a clothing rack, and I was zero for two, but it wasn't my fault. Um, God, I am but not. Anyway, I'm not excited to move out the, for that. Well, reason, no. Okay, man. back to the modem. Or the 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 yeah. The, the, yeah. So yeah that, sorry. So, tech support. So yeah, I was. You know, you have to plug it into the wall. The cable attached to the wall, like. Uh, it, it wasn't getting any connection. Okay. And so I was like trying to figure out like, what the hell? Like, why is this, why is this not getting a connection? And I walk around, like no one else is home. I'm just kind of pacing around and I walk next door to my like roommate's room. And I notice that the cable just goes straight through the wall. and is not plugged into anything. <laughs> Crazy dude. And then, That's wild. and then I see that there's another one in the closet and I'm calling Time Warner customer service or Spectrum customer service now, I guess. And they're like, oh, you know, it might be that thing in the closet, but I, the the power cable doesn't reach far enough and I don't have any extension cords over there so I couldn't test it. <laughs> so oh I had to set up an appointment and once again, I have to get there at 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Um, and I'm having trouble transferring over power too so i'm hoping i'll have power on tuesday morning but we'll figure that out but yeah clo low closet space is going to be an issue um but i get you know i'll figure it out i'm going to get a couple a couple clothing racks that i think i'll be able to fit in my room um but yeah i'll be fine yeah <laughs> Uh, wow, that's. Uh, but do you think uh, any down? Do you foresee any downsizing or any new additions you might have? I'm probably gonna do some downsizing because you know I have a lot of shirts that I don't wear that often, yeah. um, and so I'll probably end up tossing some of those. I don't want to downsize my shoe collection. Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> but like my shoe rack, my current shoe rack doesn't hold all of them. I have a couple, like, more formal shoes that I, like, have in, like, the box that I'm, like, I don't know where I'm going to put these. And I also just bought two pairs <laughs> from Zach, uh, Newton Street Vintage. That are oh, I told, him to, I told him to message you yeah, about yeah, he those said shoes. That. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so those are coming on Tuesday. So I'm, like, I don't know where I'm going to fit all these. But once again, maybe I'll keep some of the cubbies and just that's where my shoes will go. I might just end up, like, folding a lot more clothes than hanging them. We'll see. Yeah, that's kind of a good move, honestly. Like folding, I know MJ does that mm -hmm, for a lot yeah. of his shirts. Um, I yeah, I'm not. I mean, clothes folder, like the thing, the board. I, I don't think it's that useful, honestly. I own mm -hmm. one; it's not that great. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna try and move out this year as well when my promotion kicks in. Fingers, I mean, fingers crossed here. Mm -hmm. um, crossed so hard, man. I know, but. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd have to downsize as well. Probably a lot of my outerwear on casual because I am not giving up tailoring. Like that's what I know I end up wearing the most. Possible. The thing the thing I don't wear a lot of is casual, like short jackets and stuff. Which again, a lot of them were, were acquired quite cheaply, so I probably won't get rid of them. But I might not bring them with. I mean, no, I, I, I don't know. They'll they'll all be there. I don't know. But um, <laughs> well, one big thing that I that is a new acquired purchase that I don't know if I've said here on the pod um or the stream is my new barber jacket which shipped last week but of course it's coming from poland so i don't know when it's coming here i'll, I'll look it up on my i'll look up my gmail right now and see where it is what country it is in um but um but yeah so that's gonna kind of for i, I you know if i really want to do it and hopefully it doesn't smell i don't know if i'll do be able to do a stream for um like me spraying vinegar yeah. <laughs> like vinegar water all over it um but but yeah i what i what i might want to do is get rid of some like outerwear for that like i don't think i mean i'll probably keep my rain jacket but like i probably won't keep my 
my double-breasted trench coat from the 50s anymore. I probably won't need my barn coat from J. Crew anymore, um, just for that reason. Um, I don't think I'd give up my M43 jacket, but it's kind of close to the same thing. Um, I don't but know. I think we'll a see. Barn coat yeah. and, and M43, you can just wear those by themselves as like jackets. I don't think yeah, do but there. I don't know. The barn coat, I just don't wear it as much, honestly. And I feel like... And it's it's just not... My barn coat's just barely long enough for tailoring. Yeah. And so I probably will give that one up or give it to MJ. Who knows? Because that way he doesn't, have, he doesn't have a barber jacket. Uh, um, but here's a tip from David. Uh, what mar- marks what? are good for storage. That's true. That's I have heard this. Yeah. Um, Here, track my item. Grailed. Here we go. Let's see here. Track order status. Uh, uh, on December 30th, it just said giving. <laughs> That's all giving, it said. Giving to who? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. As of 2143, December 30th, 2021, who knows where it is? It could be a classic Grailed thing where, like, it just gets lost, right? And I just have to like, open up a thing through Grailed. Mm-hmm. Um, what model bumper? I got the game fair. I got a vintage game fair. Well, not vintage. I don't know how old it is, but it's a game fair. So it's slightly longer than the Beaufort. Um, Beaufort. I don't know which is the right one. Um, Buford. Buford. Um, but yeah, I want a Solway. I want a belted Solway, but that's hard to find. Other than last year, Lab, if you guys follow him, he just found two barber jackets. So fuck you. Um, no, I love it. But um, but yeah, so that's kind of a new thing. I'm more again might might mean less of me wearing my my raglan overcoat, um, and you know again less of my you know M43 or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's, that's in there. Um, what I hope for both of you is that you both are able to get an Atelier Fuchs suit this yeah, year. That'd be great. Um, that would be fun to do because I think something that we haven't really they explored of is, is you guys is wearing a lot of tailor. Mm-hmm. You just have to take it. <laughs> uh, Barber Japan just did their huge sale. I wonder if he Ooh. got it. I mean, I got on Grailed, so, um, yeah, it was only 150, which is not bad. I know, um, but I I've never seen like modern barbers. Also, I've never like put one on. I've I put on like I put on Spencer's before. I think when I when you first saw it, and then I tried on a Beaufort that was a size 38, which was a little too snug for my taste. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I literally haven't seen barbers in the wild. Yeah. You know? um, like uh, but anyway. Candles? Yeah, the jungles of Barberland. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be fun to see if you guys could get custom suits this year. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of fun to do. I would like fun to, to talk about for the stream. Yeah, I think at this point you're just gonna have to just call Dave online and I have think that's what's you guys. Happen. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. just go to Ethan's and Ethan will measure us. And then he'll we'll send him an email. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, well, I mean, we, we can just also just FaceTime him or something while we're measuring. But yeah, I don't know if I have any suit purchases coming up because I already purchased technically my brown DB. It just hasn't come, hasn't been created yet since they're a little behind in production. But I'm excited for that. That's like the big thing I'm excited about to get a finally to get a brown double breasted suit um, and Chris, brown Chris Bear. And I, I know I'll wear that odd jacket a lot, just like I wear my navy odd jacket like a, a ton. I, for the first time, I don't think I have any big. Um, like any big purchases I'm looking forward to. Mm. Like there's, there's nothing on the horizon right now that I'm like, Oh, I'm, I'm saving up for blank. You know, like I knew that this, this Brown DB was something I've always wanted. So I knew I, I could save up for that. And I did. And I bought it or placed the yeah. order, but like, I don't really have, I have a good hop sack jacket from Drake's. Now I've got like my Brown check jacket. I mean, this, this year of 2021 or this past year, I should say has been a really great year of like me buying like my grails like a lot i invested a lot in shell cordovan um i invested in a, little, a couple pairs of jeans um i was able to get some drake's ties i got a drake scarf as well i'm not sure if that was at the beginning of this year or maybe last year but it was pretty good in in you know for kind of not expanding my expanding my style but getting things that i've always wanted which is something that we kind of talk about a little bit you know like saving up for those items i know ryan has a couple of comics about that you know or saving up buying something full price or at least something that's a bit higher than you would normally spend is sometimes a good feeling and it kind of reinforces the idea of it being 
um, not in this, not a basic, but an essential or foundational part of your wardrobe. And I, again, I really like that. And so, um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure. Uh, Kyoshi said, like, is it, is it, is it great or is it scary that there's nothing on the horizon? And I feel like, you know, once I have that DB suit, um, it kind of opens up all the other possibilities. And I'm not the kind of person who likes to keep buying things and have everything in limbo. Like until my barber jacket gets in here, I probably won't buy a lot on eBay until my, my, my DB suit comes in. I probably won't buy any tailoring. Even if, even if drop 93 has some crazy sale, I probably won't buy anything until it happens. I almost did. I called French. I was like, Hey, should I buy this? Like, honey colored camel balloon jacket off of drop 93 right now and, you go, and i'm like you know what no i'm gonna wait just a little bit because i didn't drop you know 2k on my made to measure chris bear suit so you know it's kind of like a fun limbo period right now it's also the beginning of the year it's good to like invest in your you know to not that this is a, not that this isn't a financial podcast but you know putting the money putting your money well putting your money in your roth ira at the beginning of the year max out your contribution that's a good move too. So you just kind of forget about it instead of like, you know, having something cut out of your paycheck every, every month, you know, might as well just do it right away. It's a good way to kind of just put an end on buying. And again, I'm not moving out till, till my um, promotion comes in. So that's not for another month. So I got some time to kind of just relax a little bit here and kind of enjoy things. So yeah, I mean, yeah, there's enjoy. always the Algonquin, there's always the Algonquin V tips. Spencer, look up, look it up on Google right now. Put up the, uh, the, Alden Algonquin uh, V tip on Google Images. Uh, before we get to MJ, um, let's read some of the comments here. The Burgley is a long barber coat. That's not well. It's that, but not boots. Oh. Um. What this is? There you go. Yeah, those shoes. Well, I don't like the antique sole on it. Because I think the contra it's like too close to like those ant like those oh, contrast yeah, soles. Mean. But the shape, I mean obviously like You know what's really nice? That little so stitching good. right there. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Gorgeous. It's so good. Yeah. These are like I don't really like to wear like, you know, Oxfords or so, but like the V tips are just so elegant. Like, oh yeah, that's it. It's so Ivy. Again, these are the shoes I've been talking about for a long time. Um I really, I really love these shoes. Uh, Spencer also, um, David put the link for the Burgley, the Berg, the Berg, yeah, the Burgley the in the chat here. <laughs> yeah, Bergy? Bergy time. It's Bergy yeah. time. Whoa! Look at that's that the, shit. That's like the fucking Baba Duke wearing it. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that'll come get you. I'm the Baba Duke. Yeah, this is wait. It's only eight eighty seventy eight dollars. You should buy it right now. You should also buy this one because it's a. It comes with a couple Popeye magazines. I Damn, don't think. I don't magazines? think it does. Yeah, Popeye. Yeah, so the long, the long barber is. Yeah, where, where is this coming from? Where the where the, where the is fuck this is from? this place? Yeah, Bar where the border. hell is? I T D shop. Where is that? I T D my. Okay, about us. Add a huh? review. We are an online store. It ends in two hours. <laughs> wait, the store wait, ends is... in two wait, hours? Wait, wait. This is in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin. So this is like... This is like real. Wait, what is this? David, tell us what this place is. Like one size, like what... What like what? Also, like picking the size on this is looks really tough. Like, what the hell is this? It just says large on it. Damn, that one's cool. This the belted barber. hooded like military barber. Barber barber stream right now. Yeah. A continuous lean wrote about it. ACL baby. Oh man, look at that with the fucking turtleneck. You kidding me? Yeah. That's uh, British, man. That's what I'm talking about. Um. Okay, but before also before that, D Dan says here, 2022, less compromise. He wants to spend more on the specific things I actually think I want. Experiment. He still has a miss or two, but you got to start taking the lessons he's learned, putting them to work. Love it. You got to buy what you love specifically. This is why I don't like, you know, I'm, I'm really good at not being an emotional buyer anymore. Although every purchase I have is emotion, I would say maybe less of a random buyer. Like well, I don't how, really. How are I... you with being an emotional wreck, dude? 
crazy. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah. I'm an emotional wreck. I oh, we, we, we've been tricked by this before. <laughs> I'm not falling for this again. <laughs> you don't, you don't wanna... Just sign up for the damn email, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a um. What was I saying? <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, I think yeah. yeah, I think it's good to kind of you know to as a resolution to kind of just be more direct. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like anything, like you don't and clothing. It's like it takes up a lot of physical space, so it's good to to to, to really want what you're buying. Otherwise, you're gonna like waste space, and you know it's kind of hard to resell, especially when you have like really niche taste. It's not like you're buying like a pair of Dunks, and you're like, okay, well, I can resell this on StockX. It's like. Oh hey, I bought this like '70s tweed jacket. Turns out I don't like it. What am I gonna do with this shit? You know, so yeah. Uh, thank you, Dan, for sharing. I think he's probably asleep by now. Thank you, um, Dan. Uh, what's this here? Cool Cutter says all of the LHS suede this year. Shoemart Pokemon. Yeah, the classic you know? online. Only three hundred bucks. Oh, that's with the rubber sole. Yeah, but, but still, maybe that's good for us. Still, that's you know. No and, other pictures. And they have my size. <laughs> Pre-order. Okay. They're going to be delivered in March. Oh, wait. no. Spencer, it's not 300. It's 300 now, 320 oh, later. Oh, okay. Final price, 620. That makes a lot more sense. I was shocked by that. I was like, this doesn't seem right. Um, you have the Grant Stone ones. I don't think you need to upgrade those. Need, yeah, it's fine. But those do look good. Yeah. Um... Last call. Call. Let's Ooh, see. let's see some last call Aldens. Let's see. Horse here. bit. Hey, these are three hundred. No lie. No lie here. Sold <laughs> out. Okay. And they're made by Rancourt, not oh, Alden. Oh, well, there you go. Look at that high vamp on that shit. Seven seventy-five. These are ugly. <laughs> yeah, saddle shoes. I don't know what why people like. I mean, no offense to people who like them, but I don't like them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm being a real anti burke on that cowboys um, gun there you go there you, there you go. go black suede bro hold on what are you doing oh these right here the Dude. black suede tassels yeah um, why have it here when it's sold out bro see well, the thing is black call. suede is that they don't look like uh, first off contrast sold bad um but oh there's the v-tip but in black scotch grain and Contrast sold, bro. Just, I mean, maybe there's a reason why they're last call. Yeah, Shell Cordovan. <sighs> there you go. Oh yeah, you got the high vamp low right, low. I think it's on yeah, the plaza. Yeah, here's the one that I want. <laughs> the Gilmore. Yeah, is this the? Is, is this like a, an Aberdeen with a full strap? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, like it's it's a full. Oh. It's yeah, it's a full strap. LHS. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Is Aberdeen the yeah. normal full strap last? The, yeah, because yeah. the LHS is the van last, so this is the van full strap. I really want this anyway. Um, is what I'm saying. Yeah, that would look good with your style, I think. Yeah. Van last a bit chunk. Hey, I love that chunk. What is this, Scott? Um, <laughs> that chunk. Not not that Scott's chunk. I mean, Scott says the word chunk a lot. That's yeah. just what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to be mean to one of my best friends. Um. But no, yeah. I mean, I I actually don't mind it. It's uh, it is tough for me to wear with tailored because it's so rounded. But I don't mm. again. I don't mind it. Yeah, there you go. How about the, the plain, plain toe? toe. Man, you know, I'm not. I kind of. I'm. The plain toes are grown on me. Like especially yeah. in like a shell cordovan or something or brown. I would just wear it as what's, like a house. What's slipper. the last? What's the last? Uh, Aberdeen. Okay. Aberdeen. I mean, yeah. If you wear it just as like a house slipper. I think that looks. I, think I mean, I guess safe. I don't know. What do you What do you think, MJ? Um, I don't you know. know. You're, I'd you're have kind to. Of I'd, a, yeah, I'd want to see it in person, first of all, but I don't know. It's too. Uh, wait, so where it's too smooth? <laughs> too smooth. Yeah. Too smooth. Like, like, I can get that. It's because it's because it's like one piece, you know. It's like you oh, gotta get you gotta get the five six threes, man. Come on. Stain yeah. those up. Okay, shoes, yeah, this... shell cordovan. Yeah, I can see all of them, baby. Okay. Oh, the ultimate! No, the ultimate right there. Oh, the the antique mocks. ranger box. These oh, are gorgeous. Oh my god. This is so good. Also, super 
super dumb kind of right yeah. like, well, i mean very like, like 50s you know yeah i love am these. i gonna buy camp mode okay i might buy rancor camp box i might do it or quaddy right bluecher box no um, not right now i'm not gonna do it I, i'm still waiting on right now you're a coward okay but anyway yeah I'm a coward <laughs> for not buying, for not You're dropping a damn like coward. Not Three dropping three hundred and fifty dollars, three hundred or four hundred, yeah, on those. Uh, right now on stream, doing. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if I. I think MJ or Jay might like my Yucatan ones. I feel like they're just a little too big, mm. and I feel like I rather just get the. the oh wait, box. here's the. Oh no, 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 yeah, the, what the size one? did you that's, buy? That's good. Also the growing on me because these but, are very these are very like forties fifties, you know. Like, yes, uh, but I will say. If we're doing that, you gotta look up Crockett and Jones, uh, single monks. That's the real ones, man. Crocko and Jungo. <laughs> Jungo. <laughs> Let's see. One of these days, you're gonna cancel yourself by doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna accidentally say something. Okay, don't show me those. Okay, don't look uh, at it, Spencer. I don't. I don't think it's the Moncton, but it's like the. Uh, uh, maybe we just gotta look up monk straps. Oh, there's a monk strap section. There it is. There oh, she blows. Uh, Not the Lawrence. Maybe I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I fucked up here. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at... Okay, do scrolling. the monk, and we'll, we'll take a look at that, but then let's see if there's any other lasts with it. Savile 4. The Winston. Okay, look up the Anglo-Italian Crockett and Jones. <laughs> I guess I, I Wait, thought they would have like their regular model. Crockett and Jones, or... Our loafer. Anglo Italian Crockett and Jones. Okay. Okay, then you just go through their shoes. I'll do that. In the meantime, all that's loading. We well, can okay, let's see a top this. down view of these. Oh, never mind. Not that. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> okay, so shop. He said, oh, we're just kidding. Footwear. And. Oh, string loafers are pretty sick. There you go. See, these aren't bad. Those those single monks aren't bad. Like the shape of it looks very Aberdeen esque. Yeah, I like these. I wish I could get the second yeah. photo to load. Only like six fifty, which isn't bad. But again, the rubber it's sole is a little bit, a little bit. I don't know. I like you a know, leather could, sole more. You could get that replaced but, if you really wanted but, to. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, well, technically, this is more practical. I feel like that's right? true. Like, uh, but yeah, this know. looks good. Yeah, real real Jake Grantham energy. I mean, literally, because it's him. It's his place. Do they have them in uh, non-suede? No, they don't, which is oh, why it's a like... Bummer. Yeah, though, isn't like a black perfect yeah, like, that suit, would be great. I think. Um, okay, um, where is the Alden? I have too many tabs. Okay, let's... I mean, this is a pretty good shape. This is... What's, I... uh, what, what, what last is this? Aberdeen? This is Aberdeen, yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, not bad. Not, not a bad last. On... And there it is in black. We could probably look it up on Google and see if there's someone has like a top down view of like Alden single monks. MJ, any well, while we're typing this in, any any, any uh, resolutions or thoughts for view for 2022? Um, 2022. I mean, you already mentioned uh, suit from Atelier Fugue. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the main one right now. <laughs> How about the V tip? Nope. <laughs> no, that, no, it's not even. It's the Norwegian split toe. That's the Norwegian. I think one. yeah, these you're you're complicating it too much. Too I many too many stuff. I don't yeah, I don't okay. think all that goes together. Look at that. Look at look that top down shape is nice. I like that. Yeah. Almost I, looks sorry, like I think we, I think we interrupted you, MJ. <laughs> sorry about yes, that. Yes, go ahead, sorry. No, it's okay. Oh more shoes, even though I don't need the shoes. Like no space but you know i have i have the uh like the beater aldens which are i mean they were they were second hand on ebay so it was like no you know still good to have but um maybe start looking for new shoes this this year yeah we're in the stuff. shoes yes but empty just don't don't buy any tailoring or shirts yet because just in case i have to give them to you when i move too many stuff yeah too many i need to i need to do like a purge again because you well, still have like do... a lot of like like regular stuff I mean, like we that's do, not we like... do a purge once a year and on that day all crime is legal <laughs> yeah. so, that's right <laughs> i don't know why you need to do another one 
Well, that, oh that's why god. that's that's my resolution for this one: just to have two purges in one year. Oh my god, that's about, gonna be the plot of the next that, purge movie. Yeah, <laughs> imagine the purge. Like... Yeah, the like the purge colon closet edition. You <laughs> yeah. know, like it's just yeah. I'll be I'll be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna poop. Should we run a Eight. one minute ad break? You that's can. Gonna take, we'll that's right gonna back, take guys. a lot of time to set up on my end, but I'll do it. Uh, so I gotta go to <laughs> Twitch. Just, Are you yeah, already logged in? Talk us, talk us through it. Uh, Hold on. TV. I don't, I'm also logged I don't in. Know. I think it'll. I'll probably get there faster. Okay. So I, we... I'm logged in, but I'm not on the thing. Are, are, so are the well, no, channels we that we that, that they think percent. we'll like? That's based on that's based on like our viewership, right? What we view. I don't. I don't know what that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know who's using. Just... I don't know who's using this to like watch Twitch streams, but we're getting a lot. Of, yeah. we're getting a lot of ladies <laughs> suggested to us. No, I think it's just. I think it's just by the, the average popularity. Like yeah. it's, it's like these people are popular, so there's a good chance you'll like them too. Yeah, but anyway, we are about to run an ad once I go to Stream Manager. Oh, he's back. Well, I wanted to fill up my water, so I'm gonna run. We're gonna do that really quick so we'll be right back in one minute and now we are running the ad and i will be right back because i need to fill in the water back. hello <clears throat> ah! a guy was like hey you know my friend jonathan higa and i said who <laughs> he's like and I'm like, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, Jonathan. Like, he went. I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. He's like, yeah, Jonathan. I'm like, oh, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> yeah. He like, yeah, he like links you his Instagram page. This guy, you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who? Are you? Like, what, do you have an Instagram? He goes like, oh, it's called I Hate Johnny Hegan. I'm like, oh, Johnny. Yeah, that's right. J Crew, mock. Let's see here. Let's go on the J Crew. There they are. It's only two fifty, man. It's like I should just do it. Although no, I'm smarter than this. <laughs> I'm better than this. In stock. Is it free shipping? True to size. Run small. Yeah, it's close to true to size. I would just get a size 8 on. Da -da 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 -da. I'm back. Yeah, it's 250 on uh on J Crew. What is? Oh, the, the Rancourt the... Ranger Mox, yeah. Mm. Hey, that's less than three fifty. <laughs> that's there you go. And that's also not eight hundred dollars. That's true. Think about there they many... are. There it is. It's right there. The V tip split toe color eight shell cordovan. Yeah. Right there. Seven hundred eighty four dollars. Um, yeah, but eight hundred dollar pair of shoes. But they look. Real nice. Look at those toes. Oh my god. What's the, this is the, the very toes. last. So I, I got a six and a half in these. And wait, available? What is that? What? Where? Shoes available. Oh, a 6.5D. What is. I don't know. I, I can't tell. I mean, I guess they, it shows that they are available. Yeah, I 6. love 5 these. 6.5D, 6.5E. I think it's because, like, I would. And I'm sure we're back from the break by now. Yeah, we are. Um. I, but I'm assuming what I what I like from this is like, you know, again, it's like the sleek aspect of it, kind of like a loafer, except it's a lace up, you know, like the mock toe end of it, but without like heavy stitching on it, you know, very 60s. Um, and actually, I know I don't know if I would would have worn these more than my long wings. I mean, I love my long wings. I just don't wear them as much. But these are really good. I mean, maybe I'll just have to. It's a good it's a good exercise for me to wear my my my. Uh, what do you call it? My long wings. Mm -hmm. uh, how about how about style moves? How about that style move resolutions for this upcoming year? Anything you want to try out? You know, not not buying new things. Doesn't have to be, but maybe style style stuff that you want to try. I would like to find some excuse to, or some opportunity to wear my beret, which I have but have, have not worn. Yeah, I don't know why kind you have same. it. Yeah. Why do you? Why is that? Good question. Workshop. Are you gonna? Do you have an answer? You can uh, answer it or no? <laughs> I'm just saying it's a well, good I mean, question. I, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. I mean, like, do you find? Is it, like, yeah. Why? I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of fits that you wear would be good to just throwing it on, kind of. You know. 
I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like... You're not used to it? Yeah, so I would probably wear it to a menswear event, but uh, just wearing it out to like go to the mall or whatever. And it's I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not used to it yet. So well, it's a I, negative feedback. So the less you wear it, the less you're going to wear it. But I'm, sa- but I'm saying it. It, it's it's like an easier environment when you're trying when you're wearing it in like a menswear, like I to a menswear so. event. It's like dipping your toes in the water, getting used to it. I guess. So. Yeah. I'm yeah. Wrong. The so the thing is, I know we talked with David about this a lot. You know, with using suede and everything. Um, but I'm still not sold on on like investing in suede shoes. Not mm. for the rain, just because it's like I don't, I don't know. I still feel like I would I, I would need to get my V tips first. Yeah. You know. But like I don't really want suede pennies. I feel like it's a little too. Again, not that everything like not that having a hashtag events where like lean isn't a, is a bad thing. But I feel like it's a little bit me me to wear a suede shoe. Like, and I feel like until I make an outfit where I, feel, unless I get to a stage where like the suede makes sense for me, it's like the suede doesn't I'm make still, sense. Well, yeah, I, don't, I can't even fathom it. <laughs> no, it's like I think until then, right? Like, it's like I still have a lot of fits to wear by Shell Cordovan. You know what I mean? Like, There's like too many fits to one conquer. Th- well, yeah, well, I guess kind of that's right because I remember I do everything in, uh, in. I'm not sure I like that. Um. And I do everything in terms of backlogs, right? So it's like I gotta yeah. get the full, the full experience <clears throat> of something. So it's why it's like I stopped wearing my beret and started embracing like my 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 messier hair, my longer hair, and oh god, nope. <laughs> why? So I don't care if they're pan. I don't care if they're pantherella. I wouldn't wear that shit. You know? Yeah, that's true. You can't point. beat the texture and kind of the contrast the way it provides. That's true. I think the thing is, I don't really need texture. Like, I don't really like wearing flannel suits or trousers if I could help it, right? Because, I mean, we live in L.A. Obviously, like, five, five, four months out of the year, I get to wear flannel trousers. Um, but, in general, I think that I prefer, like, a more like a crisp bear and open weave four season kind of a thing. So, yeah. Um, but style moves. Okay, so Spencer, you had the beret. What else? What else do you think, Spencer? Anything you want else you want to try? Hmm. Um... You think you'll? You think tailoring will come back? I know you've been. I know you kind of near the like the latter half of yeah, this I mean, past if, year. I, you have, started wearing sport coats again, but like yeah, you know, I, more when, of like I, a rugged yeah, cowboy thing. Once I have more of it, I'll be able to wear it more. Because I don't well, like yeah, wearing. I don't like wearing the same three or four jackets. You know, the every event we go to. Um, <laughs> you hear it here, guys. You have to. You have to buy a lot of it. So <laughs> it would be. So I'd like to. I'd like to expand my collection. Um, and yeah. I, I think I'll wear start wearing more tailoring again once I have more. Holy shit! Don't dust my balls. Don't bust my balls. <laughs> oh, how could Ew. you bust my balls? How could you? It's me. <laughs> it's a me. Buster. Oh, Buster. Wait, is is bullshit? Like, is it like a? Is it shit with bull ears? Like what? Like what's going on? Where no, is it? It's a bull taking a big fat dump. <laughs> okay, I thought it would be like I thought it would be more ridiculous to see. I think it's pretty funny that there's just the lone bull right here. I think this is I wouldn't wear it, but I think it's a, it is a funny tie. They got it yeah, in the right yeah, category. Yeah. Yep. Pebble grain cordovan shoes. That sounds crazy. Look that up, Spencer. Is that a real thing? I mean, I'm sure it is, but let's take a look at it. Okay. You know, you can post tabs when you're done. <laughs> no. Oh, let's see here. Pebble grain cordovan. That doesn't look like. The wait, wait. Make it look like... Are these? Here's something. Eight hundred dollars. Free. You on eBay? It's probably an expired listing. Yeah, it's gone. We looked everywhere. It's gone forever. It's gone forever. It's not everywhere, and not. Is that it? Like I can't. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. That's Wow, new grill unlocked. I know like <laughs> mm-hmm. That's pretty awesome, man. That's nuts. Also, yeah, good like again, Capto Derby is kinda hard to wear, but like seeing it. Oh Joe Capto's... Rogan was selling these. Oh, he was shit. selling the Derby. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that... Wait, can we see his post history? Sure. What what if it is the Joe Rogan? And he's it like so I was doing my podcast. No, I mean uh, I must log in. I don't think I even have was, a style form account. I was I was eating some elk. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know if, enough about Joe Rogan. Um, He's like, I was talking solving... about chimps. Thump Dragon <laughs> says here, resolving to actually learn to take care of battle elements. I mean, all, sometimes all you need is shoe trees. Um, you know, a nice rag. Nice rag. <laughs> Nice, nice rag and a, uh, you know, like some saphir, like you know, shoe conditioner, lotion thing that you can use to clean it. I think that's a good first step. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a shoe care kind of person because with shell cordovan, you, you know, you clean it with some water on the rag just to just to get rid of the main dirt for the brush and everything, and then you use the wax paste and it looks pretty great. The color kind of comes back. Um, but yeah, I would say with regular calfskin, like you know, it's if you want to, it's like an art form in its own right. You gotta get the lo- the conditioner and the cleaner and the polish and everything. You can add to the dye. You can make it lighter if you want to. Some people do that. So, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun. I know Spencer will probably have to get the wax. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna wax your yeah. I'm gonna, wax. I'm, gonna I'm gonna fucking wax them, dude. I think they're in my Amazon uh, cart right now. The Alden wax paste for shell cordovan color eight. Yeah, but um, I haven't. I, I got mine through the yet. shoe mart. I, I think need to, I need to activate a gift card first. Activate gift card. Yeah. Yeah, severe renovatory. That's what I use uh, on my regular calfskin stuff before adding in like a black polish for my uh, black shoes. Um, but what was I gonna say? Uh, what else was on here? Uh, trying to do cozy core, but I feel like it's hard to do in co- California. I feel like it's easy to do cozy core in California because it's California. California, yeah, California. It it lends itself to the laid back. Like you, you'll get less like weird, weird looks than from. You should like, put like a, a nerd, like a nerd right? friend of you. For a nerd friend for for uh for, for Christmas or something. <laughs> um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, I think Cozy Core is where like MJ has like the Naragi, or you know, uh, I've got my kimono stuff. Like I feel like turtlenecks, crew necks, knitwear with like wide pants and like kind of loose chore coats and in, in tailored fabrics or such is a great way, um, to kind of do Cozy Core but a little bit elevated, um. Yeah, I mean, cozy core doesn't have to be like super thick layers. Like, I think if you look at my recent post on Instagram, maybe Spencer could pull it up if you want to. Um, sure can. Ethan M. Long. Yeah. Oh, you just, yep. Yeah, right there. Right. No. Okay. Well, you'd have to click it. I mean, I'm right there. Click. Click that one. I think that's pretty good cozy core. I think. Right. Like just like loose stuff, camp shirt. You know, obviously, if you have like a a um, you can go to the next pi- picture. Not next. Not the next picture. I meant the picture in the set. Yep. Like there, boom! Like really cozy camp shirt untucked. It's like an overshirt layer with a with the uh, the, the uh, Suka John kimono jacket on top, wide leg trousers, loafers. And if you do this in summertime, like t-shirt with like a chore coat or a light overshirt layer, you know, there's just a really w- easy way to do it. I also like how no one liked it. I mean, yeah, 306 people. But this is really low numbers. People did not like this outfit. I love the Doctor Evil comment on this because uh, I'm I'm clearly trying to do saff in here. And I, this is like, honestly, I'm so glad I did this for New Year's Eve. This is like one of my favorite outfits of all time. I feel like I look fucking awesome wearing this. And it felt great, you know? That's the, that's the feeling you should get when you wear any outfit, you know? So, yeah, it's very loose in a good way. Um, What's it called here? Uh, Subtrack says he'll not trying to get crazy shoe cleaning. More about wearing than caring. That's true, but I will say it's good to kind of take care of things, especially if you spend a lot of money on them. And I think it's like one of those things like I've heard. This is a really stupid thing. It was like on some financial TikTok that just came on my feed. But like some people have sold or bought a new car just because their old car was dirty, you know, and I think that cleaning what you have goes a long way. Like sometimes you can like, you know oh, I got to get rid of these shoes, but maybe just cleaning them maybe goes, oh, actually, they're really nice. You can get some more wear out of them, you know? Like I, um, And it goes, it's fairly simple as long as you have, you know, the shoe trees to make sure that they don't get too crinkled and the wrinkles too much. Um, and, of course, the shining of it. Um, it, it, does, it does do a lot, you know? It's kind of similar to, to anything. You just take care of it and you kind of feel more inclined because it, it has... Not only the effort that you put into it, but it it looks more taken care of, you know? I think Spencer and I have kind of done that with, like, compared to, you know, like, buying, like, a vintage suit and just keep buying new suits. Or, sorry, keep buying vintage suits over and over until you buy, like, the one new one. And then you kind of take care of it, you know? You don't, no moth holes on it or whatever. It'll be, it's a great feeling. 
Uh, people buy a new car because their old one is dirty. I mean, it's happened according to some study or something that the TikTok guy was saying. You know, sometimes you just need a, like a wash, a vacuum. You know, maybe you need some new paint on the car, but you know, it can sometimes look pretty good. You don't have to get a totally new, spend the money in a totally new car. Yeah, you should get a totally new car. Yeah. Every year, like uh, a new iPhone, just get a new car. No. Something I did think of is Lucchese boots, but I, you know, I as I try, and um. Um, wear cowboy boots whenever I go to thrift stores or whatever. I don't like how they fit on the like how they go all the way up. You know, like they're too high. I think I would just do side zip boots and maybe Spencer look up the husband's shoes. Maybe go on like husband's. You can look up on Instagram first. Oh, okay. No. Uh, because I feel like I don't know if it's husbands.com. You know what I mean? Like you might as well just go to their Instagram and click on. I wasn't their, gonna go to husbands.com. That's where you, that's where you find a husband. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. That's not. Well, those are boots. You can go to the link. Go to the link. Let's take a look at these. So I've been thinking about getting into this. This sounds like a, you know, kind of a style move. Again, I already have Chelsea boots. I probably won't buy these, but um, it's a cool like styling idea. Oh, I guess it's just in collections, huh? Excuse me. Oh, footwear. Yeah. Oh, there's just the one? There's just the one. And in fact, it's only one pair. Damn, these look awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like the... Oh, I guess there's no other images? There's no other images. Um, what is it called? Some dragon oh. says... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's... So I went to my grandpa and he had some zip boots hmm. and they, I kind of thought that they would look this good. They don't look they're They don't have the same like elegant last that these yeah, two. That's a shame. Because it's yeah. not as like sleek, huh? It's a good looking. Belt. Yeah, it's kind of stubby. Ooh. Well, because like the ones that you see, like, I don't know, at like Macy's and stuff. Damn. Are, like, like that. That's a solid, that's a nice belt. Maybe more belts. It's a... 2022 style thing. I already have some good ones, so I don't really need it. Maybe you guys. I mean, that's what I, I'm not saying for you. I'm saying for me. Oh, oh, sorry. I totally yeah. wasn't paying attention. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what are you talking about? But yeah, that looks good. Wait, let's look up like look up like Ralph Lauren crocodile belt, like on Google. Let's see what we pull up here. Oh well, we got some. That's kind of wacky. And not, not that one. Damn, there's no engine turn. I thought we would see an engine turn one like right away on there. Oh, right there. Wait, right wait. next to it. Nope. Well, nope. no, no, no. Next. Oh, there it is. There it is. Boom. That's the one, baby. That's so good. That's the ultimate. How much is it? Right there. Oh, it's women's. Eat women. Eat women. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> I'm gonna go on eBay right now and look up. Sorry, couldn't find Ralph. the page. It's women's and sold out. <laughs> Ralph Lauren belt, thirty-four. Um, another thing I want to do is take more advantage of living in Japan for my purchases. There's so many little niche shops that get no play in the West. Yeah. Yeah, man. Tomorrowland, etc. I don't know what else is out there because I'm not in Japan. Tomorrow, like the place where uh, George Clooney used to live. Yeah, yeah, he used to be there. If I just yeah, look up alligator like... belt, I'm gonna look up alligator belt thirty four. Um. Wait, Walmart had these. Holy shit, this one's only $24? Black suede. It's kind of Cresto. It was worn by the Actually, Duchess of Essex. Damn, 34.5. Not too bad. Um. Hey. Steve Martin. Steve Martin. He knows where it's at. 
Yeah, it's a very good bad jacket, though. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But uh, a very, very good. Back it is jacket, a bad jacket. So <laughs> Yeah, Trafalgar belts, I think, is, like, where you'd want to look for these belts, man. Mm-hmm. Those are really good. Um, other style things. Let me think. Um, what else do I want to to do? What the hell do you want to do? With I mean, that? I've done a lot of stuff. Like, I've been wearing my turtleneck a lot. I'm trying to take advantage of the cold weather, so I'm trying not to make, like, just regular shirt and tie fits. I'm like, I can wear those anytime, you know? Um Probably will devest in my tweeds. Whoa. I think. Well, what? not really. I think I already kind of did, so I'm already paring them down. I again, I don't really have any tailoring stuff. I mean, I kind of want to wear, maybe try some black jean fits with tailoring. I kind of tough, but I don't know if I, you know, because it's kind of tough. Like wearing a black jeans with a sport coat is kind of like teenager esque. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, it, I think it's kind of tough to do, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe some more merch t shirt and sport coat fits. Maybe this year I could try a lot more t shirt fits. Because um, I don't really need anything. Like, I, I know I'm not going to buy any more knitwear. I know I don't need, like, more shirts, like spear points or anything like that, provided that my body doesn't change again, fingers crossed here. Um, I don't really, yeah, I can't really think of any style moves. I think I do a lot. Of, I mean, I can't, like, what's happening right now in fashion isn't really that far off of what I already do, you know? It, like, and it's not, it's not as, uh, it's not insurmountable, you know? Like, seeing the Dickies work pants with, like, merch t-shirts, well, I can do that with my vintage work pants and merch t-shirts. Like, it's not that big of a stretch where I have to, like, oh, I gotta, I gotta really think about something to try. You know, maybe I could make this year more fedoras, which is, again, hard. <laughs> but, you know, it could be worth a try so I could keep wearing my fedoras more often. Um, I don't know. Over the calf socks, even though that's something I started <laughs> at the end of this oh, year. Yeah. But again, I can, I'll can tell you guys, over the calf socks, real game changer. I know we, we stand Uniqlo, but over the calf, man, nothing compares to it. I mean, it's, it's the... Uh classic you get what you pay for right if you want the the exact detail you're gonna you're gonna pay that extra right yeah and i'm telling you the comfort from it is just really nice you know again it's good i don't live somewhere that's really cold because otherwise these really fine socks probably aren't that useful but they are really great all of my shoes fit better i haven't done over the calf socks with sneakers yet so we'll see how that goes any other style moves, you guys? Anything you're looking at, like to try? Oh, um, more ties for me. Yes, MG, you gotta take some ties for me. <laughs> Honestly, you gotta oh, there get we some. Go. Yeah, you gotta Check get some that of off these... the list. But yeah, yeah, I wanna wear more ties, even though it might not be right. It might be going away from the practicality of like my current lifestyle, I guess. But I like ties, but just haven't gotten a ties chance. Ties are great, to man. I love them. Wear. What kind of ties? I think ties that say swear words on them. Ties with uh, with not uh, like funny holes on them, and what was that other one that we passed through? How about this jockstrap one? The, yeah, there you go. Jockstrap club tie. I'm gonna look up vintage motif See, ties. It's funny because like where I can send you. When you look at them from far away, it just looks like oh, that's just like a like an emblem. Yeah. Or something. Guys, oh, that's I, I think. How about a hot dog tie? And then you get closer over there, the hot dog tie. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's the one. The hot, the hot dog look. That's yeah. You know what? You know what's House crazy? Hot dogs. You know what? I think that's kind of slept on. That I think we should start doing. Like you know how like vintage ties sometimes are too short for us now, and like mm-hmm. because we like tucking our ties, it's kind of tough. I don't know how we haven't slept on vintage polo ties because it's like after I got that the 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 uh, like buff yellow matter tie the last time on stream Mm -hmm. dude it's so good like it's it's amazing it's damn amazing we we need we need to like invest like not invest but i'm I'm looking right now i'm looking up vintage you need to invest maybe maybe spencer you do it look up look look, let's do a little ebay fun the last like 10 or 15 minutes here ebay fun uh while you're doing it like a vintage polo ralph lauren tie um david says another purchase he made was a ring jacket balloon single double coat single double coat what does that mean 
Uh, a single double look is strong and unique. What is, yeah, please explain. Uh, it's in a big Prince of Wales balloon cloth. That's really great. That's really great. Holy shit. $17.99. Dude, look at these. MJ, here you go, man. Maybe not that one. That one kind of sucks. Um, That one sucks, too. That's that's that sucks. Yeah, you that's suck. you suck. <laughs> uh, not too bad, kind of a look. But the one on the left to that one, there you go. A little bit, a little bit B, but you know, uh, not bad. Still on that good. One. That's still good. Um, uh, yeah, not not these ones. I don't know how you wear these. What the? Is that the cup? Hi, the tie caddy. David says it's a uh, single double is a single breasted, but goes across like a double breasted. What is, what does that mean? So okay, it's I one, one about. set of buttons and it goes like, I don't know. Okay, so, okay there you go. That's what, that makes sense. Oh yeah. He put the link in there. Punish Prags. Yeah. Yeah, middle it gear, uh, it's kind of like an asymmetrical kind of closure, I think. That's, That's cool. pretty cool. And like balloon, that. balloon is the ultimate cloth. Everyone should get balloon jackets, man. Drop ninety three. We're not sponsored, but if you want to give me that jacket I was talking about earlier, the the honey colored camel <laughs> one. That's a good one. Let's see. That's not nice that rip. bad. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Again, <laughs> you can so watch her high stream. God. <laughs> Thumb Dragon changed his tree name to Punish Prag. <laughs> That's funny. Um, is this Knit? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's uh, kind of cool. You can get bow ties. Eh, none of those are blue cool polka dot. Right? Is is nice if you want to look like Winston that Churchill. That purple wrap is really good though. Yeah. On the the bottom, one in the the, the, the bottom deco. right there. Yeah. It's only seventeen ninety nine. Buy it now. Put this in. Put this in our group chat. Not yeah. not the one that. Uh... I know what you mean. <laughs> not the, the one other people see. Yeah. No, one look at, no one look at the <laughs> URL, okay? Yeah. Uh, or the oops. item. No one look at this. Don't look closer. Yeah, scroll, scroll all the way down. Oh, you know what's something I want to do? More black tie stuff. Or just I uh, just occasions to wear like you know like a fun take on black tie. You know? Oh yeah, I guess that would be one of mine too. Tuxedo. To, to get yeah get black tie do something okay spencer here we go yeah no they, mm, nope. not that one man also i think you could look up like vintage like 1940s scarf instead maybe wait go down go down first keep going yoji Amamoto rayon bow tie what the hell is that left Where? left oh Oh, it's like a neck scarf. Wait. Shirt? Is it, it's, is it part That's of the shirt? Kind of, oh, seven fifty. No wonder. Vintage Yoji, dude. That is cool. Very well kept. Not bashful. You want to go? I want to go to New York at least twice this year. That's kind of. I would say don't get burgundy scarves. Everyone's got a burgundy scarf now. Mm. Like I feel like it's too easy. You gotta get like a, you know. Here we go. Let's see here. What about airsoft fashion related? You guys got any of those? <laughs> not, not much. I kind of want to get a new jacket, but I also don't want to drop too much money on something that I'm probably not going to wear too much. Is that the only men's scarf? Let's go back, maybe. Um, go well, back. I think because you clicked on the, the Vin category, yeah. huh? Yeah, you can just look through these. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. The royal blue. Kinda, kinda cool. There you go. Get some like vintage furs. <laughs> get that. There you get go. that mink. Wait, vintage uh, military accident. scarf on the left. Wait, where? Nope. Right there, below it. Below it. Next left. Oh. The blue. The blue one with the checker. Oh, that's cool. That's actually kind of sick. Fourteen ninety nine or best offer. Oh boy. Wait. Wait. Go down. Can you link? Can you link that one to, to yeah. things, Spencer? The blue one. Wait, yeah, I'll do that. The 40s, 50s, there, yeah, right, that one. Oh, we saw this one. This one's, oh, I think it's like a motif across the whole thing. Yeah. Mind. I think we saw that one time ago. With this. 
Civil War. Uh, well, well, it's got bo well, both sides, I guess. Yeah, both sides. Ooh! Here's to the ooh. troops. Wait, give me the peach colored one. Oh, okay. Like this one right here? That's nice. I don't, it looks short, though. A little yeah. shorty. Does it have details in the uh, description? You yeah, can check. We'll I will check. check. You Let's can see check what this out. That's, That's a good nice. one. That green one's really good, Spencer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more jaunty scarf points. Spencer, read the fucking blog, dude. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, beads. <laughs> beads? I don't no, like the... Bad. I don't like the... I would, it, it would be just plain silk. How about 1950s scarf? <laughs> Let's see if that... Let's see if that gives anything. A lot of bandanas. The polka have a, kind of sick. Have a hank. Ooh, wait, Pendleton. What is that? Miss. Oh, I thought I say Mills. I was like, what about Miss Portland, baby? <laughs> Miss Portland, That's USA. Kind of cool. That's cool. That's kind of a cool one. That's a good like art one you could hang in your house. Yeah, coal. One hundred twenty-five dollars. Oh. How about this one? Just lemonade. <laughs> Calories! Yeah, man. <laughs> that one's pretty funny, actually. Bronson, the quality isn't terrible. It's good for the price. I've heard a guy say he regrets it, but a lot of people on our Discord have it, so... Kind of goes up and down, honestly. Are we talking about, um, like, for what? Just in general? I guess, yeah, someone in the chat said that. Yeah, I think it depends on what you get from him, but I've I've been happy with what. Yeah, it does I ship get. from China, so it does take a long time for you to get it. Um, what do we? Yeah, what do we got? Vintage dress scarf. Nope. That's not a good search term. Is this for you? You want the white scarf, Spencer? I want to. I want to see what they have. I mean, MJ is also looking for the. Whoa! A tennis bandana for MJ. Oh wait, how about? Yeah. Also, also that was awesome. If it didn't have the D, like Christian Dior thing right there. I think that's fine. I honestly think that's fine. Yeah. It's okay. You just wear it so that it doesn't wait, show. Wait. Right? Can we look at the tennis one? That's pretty good. That one's a good one. You better, you better say that where's one to yourself, the... Spencer. Yeah. Where's the tennis up, one? Up. 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 There. Left. No. Nope. The the green, yeah. It's just like a... it matches your it matches your tennis. I know the Drake's oh. one. The Drake's is also up. green. Yeah. Damn the cot yeah cotton that's gonna that's gonna drape nicely I think. Nice and hefty. Oh man, that's like I mean I know you sent it to me at the point. Yeah. Um, this one. Jeez, cool. Whoa! Ooh. Look at that volume. There you go. Yeah, oh, that's but... good. That's a good. That's a good length on that really? bad boy. Only uh... eight bucks. Nope. Plus shipping, a hundred bucks. Yeah. Never mind. That'll do you. That's a nice one, though. Orange okay. paisley. Um. Well, lots of stuff happening in the new year. Yeah. <laughs> That's. I know it's just like a strip of fabric, but it's kind of yeah. cool. Um, Saint James is over. Uh, do we want to do we want to go through the like chat a little bit and then call it? We already did. That's kind of it. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well. We'll. Our, our, well. Our, anything else we want to yeah. do before we close out? No, I I'm think I some think. Tabs. That... I think that that's it. Um, you know, there's a lot of great stuff um, happening on the podcast and the stream. Nothing new, just great stuff because we're continuing to do what we always do. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some great first couple of episodes um, coming out on proportion and the idea of taste in classic menswear. Um, we've uh, We've got... Hopefully some interviews, not interviews, but like kind of features with our friends John from his Paris trip, as well as Young Chomsky for his um, his curation of the account John Feld, which documents some of the best outfits in Seinfeld across all characters, not just the main ones. Um, 
and yeah, just a lot more stuff here. You know, obviously a lot more gaming with uh, with all the all the geo guessing that we've gotten a little bit better at as well. Yeah. Um, you know, great. You know, lots of uh, you know at least twelve bonus episodes this this uh, year of movies. You know, ranging from The King's Man to I don't know if we will we'll, we'll be able to cover Nightmare Alley because it's um, probably also out of just theaters. came out. Yeah. Yeah, probably out of theaters. But, you know, yeah, we got all this fun stuff for us. You know, join the Patreon if you want to get access to those full episodes and get access to our Discord where a lot of people are sharing ideas, sharing shopping links, sharing market stuff that of, of like their old piece that they want to get rid of. It's a great place to be. Um, and, yeah, uh, if you want to give more than that, give us $10 a month. We really appreciate it. There's nothing really extra that you get bonus other than we thank you for your contributions so mj who are we thanking today we're thanking our sidecast fanatics austin malat shane curry phil gregard audrey jessica Jared colian and james devonzo we appreciate you guys so much again please leave us a review on itunes as well if you want us to uh, not only if you want us to continue we're going to keep making them anyway but it still helps us out <laughs> it makes us feel good when we get a good review that's not me because i wrote mine and i forgot that my name is uh it's great it's to Apple. To it. yeah so it's kind of funny um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope everyone has a great um, first, uh, you know, great first week, full week, week of, of, 2022. of 2022. That's right. Uh, we'll be week. back on a Wednesday with some geo guessing. No, actually, probably more like poker this time since our, our Discord's been waiting for it and we've had our month of break of us playing GeoGuessr and playing and doing some late night streams because we just, we've, we've been busy during our break, you know? Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and we'll see you guys, uh, this week. Bye-bye. The next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.